In this video, we'll be discussing the three main abstractions in Spark's machine learning library. That's transformers, estimators, and pipelines. We'll be transforming data using a transformer. We'll also be training an estimator, and we'll be wrapping all of these together within a pipeline. Spark's machine learning library has these three main abstractions. A transformer implements a dot transform method. It takes a data frame as an input, and it returns a new data frame with a new column appended to it. This might look a little bit different from some of the other machine learning tools that you've seen in the past. Other machine learning tools rely a little bit more heavily on in-place operations, but since Spark wants to use immutable data structures by default, which is common in distributed machine learning use cases, we want to make sure that we're appending to a pre-existing data frame rather than performing an in-place operation. Estimators look a little bit different from transformers. Estimators implement a dot fit method rather than a dot transform method. This is the point that an estimator actually learns something from our data set. Once we fitted an estimator, it becomes a transformer and applies that same dot transform method. Finally, a pipeline is just a way of combining together different transformers and estimators. So if we have a more complex featureization pipeline, we can work with it with a little bit more ease. Let's take a look at how transformers work. Let's apply the transformer binarizer. Binarizer allows us to return a 1 if a value is above a certain threshold, or a 0 otherwise. In this case, we're going to be importing this from pyspark.ml.feature, which is a package that provides a bunch of different functionality for featureizing our data. So when we run this, we can go ahead and scroll over to the right, and we'll see this new column, binarize price. And if our price is above 100, we'll see a 1. Otherwise, we'll see a 0. So you can see that the way that we implemented this is first by creating this object binarizer. And then we transformed Airbnb DF using that. Now let's take a look at some estimators. Here we're going to use a string indexer, which allows us to create a unique value for each unique string that we have. Then we're going to use one hot encoder estimator, which allows us to turn that one value into an array. So here, once again, from pyspark.ml.feature, I'm going to import string indexer. So now that we have our indexer, we can go ahead and fit it on our unique values, and we can transform our data set as well. So in the fit stage, we're going to take all of our unique values and pair it with some numerical value. In our transform phase, we're actually going to be appending that column to our data frame. So if we take a look here, we have our different room types, and we have a unique value associated with each one. Now let's go ahead and use one hot encoder estimator. Now you can see that we took that index and turned it into a unique array. Finally, let's take those different stages and put them together in a pipeline. This makes it a lot easier to work with a number of different featureization steps. So here, from pyspark.ml, I'm going to be importing pipeline. And I'm just going to set a number of different stages. First, the binarizer, then the indexer, then the encoder. Once I have this pipeline, just like an estimator, I first fit that pipeline, and then I transform the data using that pipeline. Now when I run this, and I scroll over to the right, you can see that we have binarized price, we have the room type index, and we have the encoded room type. In the next lesson, we'll be featureizing our data set. So we'll be using pipelines, transformers, estimators in order to create all of our pre-processing step that will then be feeding into our machine learning model.